15 layer lasagna, triple meat, switching out marinara for Alfredo, we're breaking down the best lasagnas you can get at chain restaurants. Lasagna lovers, this one's for you. And I saw this brick oven. Never saw anything like it in my life. They weren't any in the States. What a great idea. So I took that idea. I brought it back. Vertucci's bakes its Italian dishes in brick ovens, which typically reach temperatures of 675 degrees. This lets the food cook to a high temperature fast, creating a unique texture and flavor profile that's difficult to replicate with conventional ovens. One dish that's cooked in the restaurant's brick oven is the chain's lasagna rustica, crafted with handmade pasta, meat sauce, and a blend of ricotta and mozzarella cheese. Despite the effort that goes into the dish, Bertucci's lasagna rustica seems to fail the taste test with most of the restaurant's patrons. One reviewer who says they used to enjoy Bertucci's fare in the past expresses their disappointment with the restaurant's current lasagna offering, saying, I tried the lasagna. Wow, soft pasta, flavorless ricotta, did they get that at the dollar store and a so-so sauce? Another patron complains that their lasagna arrived at the table refrigerator cold, adding, I paid the bar bill and left hungry, never to return. The recipe for Caraba's Italian grills, lasagne, has reportedly been handed down from generation to generation. In fact, the chain claims that its lasagna is exactly the same as that made by its founder's grandmother. Smothered in pomodoro sauce, the dish comes layered with meat sauce, ricotta, romano, and mozzarella cheese. Caraba's Italian grill chef shared the chain's lasagna recipe with Kansas City news outlet Fox 4, saying that its meat sauces are made with ground beef or sweet or hot Italian sausage. According to Caraba's Italian Grill, its lasagna ranks among the chain's top-selling menu items. We aren't sure why, however, because most reviews for the dish have been less than flattering. One underwhelmed diner says, I used to love going to Caraba's, but the last two times I ordered lasagna, it was a joke. It didn't look anything like the picture, more like a watery pile of slop. Another patron agrees that the chain's lasagna is nothing special, saying, The lasagna was a four-inch chunk that was an obvious leftover corner piece that was totally dried out and had almost no ricotta and definitely no other signs of any other cheese under the crunchy, inedible piece of pasta, on top of which had a slither of cheese that was so dry it was inedible as well. Layered with meat sauce as well as mozzarella and provolone cheese, the baked lasagna is one of Fazoli's most ordered entrees. For those with a hearty appetite, the dish is also available as a part of the classic sampler, along with fettuccine alfredo and spaghetti with meatballs. Alternatively, the oven-baked classic sampler features the same dishes baked with a blend of mozzarella and provolone. Finally, the ultimate sampler comes with lasagna, fettuccine alfredo, penne with meat sauce, and spaghetti and meatballs. Unfortunately, the current version of the lasagna isn't resonating with many diners, with one reviewer saying, Bring back twice-baked lasagna, please. Right now, frozen tastes better than yours, and that's really sad. In a similar vein, another patron requested, Bring back the triple meat lasagna, please. The main problem with the baked lasagna seems to lie with the sauce, with reviewers calling it out for being overly salty and, for some diners, too spicy. Designed to resemble a Tuscan country villa, Brio Italian Grill locations are outfitted with lofty ceilings, traditional mosaics, Venetian arches, and marble countertops. However, the restaurant's appeal doesn't stop at the inviting atmosphere. From classic pasta dishes to savory risottos, every item on Brio's menu pays homage to the Tuscan culinary tradition. One of the time-tested favorites for the chain is its oven-baked lasagna with bolognese meat sauce, ricotta, and mozzarella. Most diners are impressed with Brio Italian Grill's lasagna, with some commenting on the plate's generous size and great value for money. So much so that one reviewer advises, unless you're extremely hungry, you'll want a take-home box to enjoy the remains. Another customer who says they love lasagna is also partial to Brio's take on the dish, saying, If I find lasagna on a menu, it is meant to be. Most of the time, it is horrible. No meat, too much cheese. And then there was Brio, with a fresh lasagna with a lot of meat and a normal amount of cheese. A million restaurants can learn from this. Not everybody agrees with this assessment, however, with one diner saying that the chain's lasagna is overly cheesy and doesn't come with enough meat. I'm Chef Pipe from Carino's, and this is Nona Ricci, who represents the traditional Italian recipes we've perfected here at Carino's. From a lineup of pizzas and other classic Italian dishes to more typical American offerings such as nachos, chicken wings, and burgers, Johnny Carino's caters to diverse tastes and dietary preferences. To accommodate different groups of diners, Johnny's fresh-baked lasagna comes in individual and family platter sizes. 
It's also available as part of Johnny's Combo, alongside the chain's chicken parmesan and spaghetti with tomato sauce. Made with beef, Italian sausage, mozzarella, ricotta, and parmesan, Johnny's fresh-baked lasagna has received both complimentary and damning feedback. One satisfied TripAdvisor reviewer says that the dish doesn't disappoint, adding, The lasagna I ordered was plenty and nice and hot and just really delicious. On the flip side, another patron presents a completely different perspective, saying that the lasagna was burnt, adding, I could also see that some layers of the lasagna didn't even have meat or cheese, felt ripped off. Translating to Joe's Small Place, Buca di Beppo is all about family dining and nostalgic decor. As such, it may come as a surprise that the chain's founder has absolutely no family ties to Italy, other than a deep appreciation for Italian cuisine. Their commitment to creating quality Italian fare seems to be working, since the chain now boasts over 60 outlets. Unfortunately, the restaurant's lasagna doesn't quite live up to the traditional homemade versions you might find in an Italian Nona's kitchen. Made with a meat sauce as well as mozzarella, ricotta, provolone, and parmesan, Buca di Beppo's lasagna has received mixed testimonials from diners. Some patrons don't hesitate to praise the dish, while others express disappointment. On the positive side, one reviewer goes as far as saying, It's the best lasagna I've ever had in a restaurant. You're going to want some to take home. However, not everybody is as impressed with the dish, with some patrons calling it bland, disappointingly dry, and room temperature. Established by Todd Hovenden, who came up with the idea for the restaurant during his time at Northwestern University's Kellogg School of Management, Biagi's opened its first restaurant in 1999. Today, the chain boasts 16 locations across eight states, offering a menu that includes pizza, pasta, steaks, and seafood. True to its name, Biagi's lasagna bolognese comes with a traditional meat sauce, a blend of Italian cheeses, and a three-cheese Alfredo sauce. The lasagna can be paired with chicken parmesan, which is also one of the chain's most popular dishes, lasagna being the first. Biagi's Ristorante Italiano's lasagna bolognese has generated a variety of opinions, from enthusiastic approval to disapproval. One diner says that the dish is the best lasagna they have ever had, adding, I have been to Rome and eaten at several restaurants there as well, and they pale in comparison to what I had eaten two days ago. I highly recommend this beautiful Italian restaurant. Some other happy reviewers also praise Biagi's lasagna, overall describing it as delicious. On the flip side, some patrons said that their lasagna was mushy and disgusting. We have one guy in the kitchen, and his only job is to prepare lasagna. Spaghetti Warehouse's 15-layer lasagna takes three days to make. As outlined by the chain's then-executive chef, during the first day, the kitchen prepares the noodle sheets so that they absorb more flavor when the dish is assembled on the second day. On the third day, rather than baking the dish, the kitchen steams it to prevent any drying out. The dish is created with meat sauce, freshly made Italian pork sausage, ground beef, ricotta, romano, and mozzarella cheese. The chain's 15-layer lasagna also comes in a version topped with a creamy Alfredo sauce. Despite the 15 layers, some patrons have complained that the spaghetti warehouse lasagna is on the small side. This only goes to show that towering doesn't necessarily translate to big portions. The reviews of the flavor have been mixed. One reviewer says, if you love Italian sausage in your lasagna, then this place is for you. Another patron, however, commented, Our incredible 15-layer lasagna was flavorful, but it is mainly just pasta, not a lot of the fillers you expect. Overall disappointing. We're all family here. Olive Garden's Lasagna Classico is a relatively recent menu addition that's replaced older versions of the dish. Back in the 90s, the chain served two types of lasagna, a three-meat version and a chicken and portobello mushroom version. Later, there was the four-cheese lasagna with Alfredo sauce and chicken. Just as its name suggests, today the chain offers a more classic version of the dish that uses a house-made beef sauce with pan-seared beef and Italian sausage, as well as Parmesan, mozzarella, and Pecorino Romano cheese. A writer for Insider compliments Olive Garden's lasagna for its traditional Italian sauce and commendable mix of flavors and textures. A writer for Fast Food Menu Prices is also partial to the dish, noting that it's both filling and tastes home-cooked. Not everybody agrees, however. One reviewer says, I went once and ordered the lasagna and it was small, went home hungry. Another patron expresses a similar sentiment, saying, My lasagna classico, though tiny, was still tasty. If in doubt, you can opt for the chain's family-style lasagna bundle and take the leftovers home. 
Featured in the founder's favorite section of the menu, the Old Spaghetti Factory's baked lasagna features marinara, ground beef, and pork, and four different cheeses. The entree is served with fresh bread, soup, or green salad, and a scoop of spumoni or vanilla ice cream. While the exact recipe for the dish is not publicly available, Cook Eat Share claims that it's crafted something very close to the original, although its version only features three types of cheese, mozzarella, ricotta, and parmesan. The Old Spaghetti Factory's Our Famous Baked Lasagna has received an abundance of favorable reviews from diners. One reviewer says that their entire meal at the chain was delightful, adding, The Our Famous Baked Lasagna was to die for. Another patron complains that the photo of the dish on the Old Spaghetti Factory's Facebook page doesn't do the menu item justice. Commenting, The lasagna is actually smothered and amazing. This photo does not do it justice. There's nothing like mom's home cooking, especially if she's Italian. Maggiano's Little Italy understands that the heart of any memorable meal lies in the authenticity and love that goes into it. The chain's mom's lasagna pays homage to this sentiment. Hearty and indulgent, the dish features layers of perfectly cooked pasta covered with a rich marinara sauce made with tomatoes, garlic, and onions. The combination of seasoned beef and Italian sausage adds savory depth to this traditional dish, while the smoothness of ricotta ties the dish together. It comes as no surprise that many diners judge the authenticity of an Italian restaurant by the quality of its classic recipes, like lasagna. A case in point is presented by one patron who says, It's really good. We judge Italian places by the basics, classics. If they get lazy with lasagna or spaghetti, they're out. Maggiano's has delicious classics. Another reviewer agrees that the chain's lasagna hits the right spot, commenting, The mom's lasagna marinara was the best takeout lasagna I've had. The marinara sauce was very tasty, and the lasagna noodles were so fresh.